Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Minnesota Vikings. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20. So First play and a first pass for Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. League, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get him a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. And they're gonna now a second down and six. Murray now. Throwing middle and it's complete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 20. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And up to the 35 before the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. On third down, Cousins. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. Yeah. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. Oh, nice move. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Here's Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing on second and eight. Murray. And he's got his man on the out round. We're scoreless after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Murray going to throw. And he's going to have to eat this when it's down he goes. Extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. On line, but off the crossbar, no good. For this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Cousins to throw it. Open man is Hasbro, he's got it. And he's going to be room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first and ten, Cousins. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And the Cardinals are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. And he's taken down, but not shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. To throw on second and six, Murray. He finds Hopkins complete. And grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first and ten, here's Murray. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Murray to air it out again. 
And he'll be marked down at about. And up front his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. To throw again on second down. Murray, and he's got the hook up to Moore. From the four, it's second and a couple. Murray now to throw. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the cards go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. To throw is Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. In that situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On the slant, complete to Hopkins. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Throwing now is Murray. And this one is incomplete. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Throwing Cousins. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Murray now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. Hard's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. When you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Play action now, Cousins. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. He's got a man complete. Uh, yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Throwing on second and three, Murray. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. And we're going to get a review of that last play. Can ship on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score cardinal. Payoff they were looking for. From the 41, Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. Play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. From the 40 now on second down, Murray. And he goes down at the 26. The and as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. And he'll be well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On first and ten, here's Murray. And he slides and covers up. And a good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. 
Trey McBride punching it in from a yard away. And the Cardinals have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. Almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Cousins on third and two. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. To the passing attack, there's a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now this throw caught left side. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. Cousins again. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. K.J. Osborne, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, C.D., but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's overall, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on sp And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these eight. And he's going to go down again. They hold this lead. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. One last shot at the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. One last shot now for Cousins. And this is going to be caught. So an offensive final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. The extra point here is good, but the late touchdown can only draw the score a bit closer as this game is over. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's, it's silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done.